had clear conditions for a good portion of the day today. You can actually see this shot from Century City. A little bit hazy out there, so we're certainly noticing that haze. Also noticing an increase in cloud cover as we make our way towards the evening. And as we head into tomorrow, that's going to be the case even more. Right now, we're seeing some activity to the north of us. We are expecting another system to kind of drag on through to the north of us and actually bringing us some wet weather by tomorrow. It looks like it's going to be the latter part of your day tomorrow. So we're going to start off with some showers into the evening hours. And with that rain, we also have the winds. In fact, we've just been issued a high wind warning in effect for San Bernardino. Also, Riverside County could get those gusts up to about 70 miles an hour in some spots. So the, fo the places up into the mountains, also some of the valleys, uh, Lucerne, Apple Valley, uh, also into Coachella Valley as well. We'll see some very strong winds. We'll have your full forecast straight ahead. All right, Louise, it's going to feel like winter over the next couple of days. Right now, though, it's clear and you can see our shot from Mount Wilson showing a few fair weather clouds out there, a little bit of haze as well, and that sunshine just trying to keep in focus there. We are certainly going to continue to see uh, cool temperatures into the next couple of days. Today we actually topped out at about 64 degrees, so we're about four degrees below that seasonal average today. So certainly a cool day. More clouds this evening, even more so tomorrow. It looks like though the best bet for some wet weather is going to be the latter part of your Friday. On Saturday morning, we're expecting to see some he uh, some heavier rain as well. It looks like we could get anywhere from a quarter of an inch to about three quarters of an inch on Saturday. In terms of that snow, we could see some, although this is a fairly warm system, so looks like anything we do see will be above about 6,000 feet, and that should be around Saturday uh, evening. So we also have a high wind watch in effect for San Bernardino and also into Riverside County Mountains, also in through some of the valleys as well, Apple, Lucerne, also into Coachella. We could see uh, northwest winds reaching about 40 miles an hour, and those gusts could actually peak at about 70 miles an hour. So that's the case for your Friday and into your Saturday as well. So in terms of the timeline of this, it looks like we'll just continue to see those clouds thicken up into the overnight hours tonight and then by tomorrow the best chance of that wet weather notice kicks in on Friday night and into Saturday morning. So Saturday again we're going to continue to see those showers although the system is going to move through fairly quickly so it's not going to just sit over us for a long period of time but still enough to make for uh, a pretty wet Saturday especially for the first part of your day. In terms of those temperatures because we have all that cloud cover we're actually getting a warmer evening tonight. Temperatures in the 40s Santa Clarita about 44 degrees Degrees. Remember a couple nights ago we had temperatures dipping down into the 30s. 32 degrees for Apple Valley. It looks like in Chino Hills, also into Ontario, will actually dip down to about 41. Temperatures staying in through the Inland Empire into the 30s, the upper 30s though, and low 40s. And into the afternoon, similar temperatures today. Looks like we're going to stay a little bit below that seasonal average, but not too much change in your afternoon highs for tomorrow. Chino Hills, 65 degrees. Looks like Northridge will top out around 64. And in Simi Valley, about 62. The coastal communities as well will also come in into the low 60s. Your five day certainly shows a bit of a change as we head into tomorrow. We bring in those clouds. We bring in that rain the second part of your day. Saturday again looks to be the wettest of the two days. And then Sunday we'll actually get a bit of a dry break. Still keeping a lot of that cloud cover around. And then we'll have another weaker system move through on Monday. Back to you. All right, Louise. Yeah, well, we are actually seeing some pretty active weather to the north of us in Tahoe actually getting some snow right now. So some snow for the ski resorts there. However, our area now just mostly clear. We're seeing the hazy conditions and a few clouds kind of rolling in as well. And we're going to be watching another storm system move through as we head in towards your Friday night into your Saturday. Also with the wet weather, we're expecting some winds. In fact, we have a high wind watch in effect from Friday evening right on through your Saturday evening in some of the mountains and the valley areas through San Bernardino and also into Riverside County. So your five, you know, five days certainly shows those temperatures staying the same. As we head into Saturday, though, that's when we see the better chance of rain. We could pick up anywhere from a quarter of an inch to three quarters of an inch. We'll catch a dry break on Sunday, bring back a slight chance of rain for Monday. Back to you. All right.